Laura Darpow. Welcome to the assembly this morning. I hope everybody's well and have had a lovely sleep last night and feeling happy. I'm going to start by lighting the candle and saying the grace this morning. Dear Lord Jesus, as we begin the new school day, help us to grow and learn in a Christian way. Amen. Well done, everybody. So today is actually a really special day. It's the 1st of December. Can anybody in your classrooms, I'd like you to pause the video, can anybody tell me why the 1st of December is a special day? Yes, you are right. Today is Advent. It's the 1st of December and lots of you might have had chocolate advent calendars or normal advent calendars and it's very, very exciting. It's also, there's also a religious reason behind the 1st of December and why we have Advent. Does anybody know that? Know why? Yes, it's the first, it's the, it's the coming of Jesus. It's when Jesus came into our lives. Okay, so I'm going to read you the Christmas story today, which I imagine most of you know. So you, you should know what's coming up. So I want you to show me super listening and we're going to, we're going to do some super singing as well today. Okay, and let's begin the story. A long time ago, Mary and Joseph had to leave their home in Nazareth and travel to Bethlehem. It was a long, hard journey, and Mary rode on a donkey while Joseph walked beside her. I would now like you to sing, okay, away in a manger. By the time they reached Bethlehem, Mary and Joseph were very tired and they needed to find a place to sleep. But the town was full of people and everywhere they went, they were told that there was no room for them. Then one innkeeper saw how tired Joseph and Mary were and he remembered that he had a stable which was warm and dry. He said they could sleep there. Joseph made a bed out of hay for Mary. The donkey and the ox watched over her. We're now going to sing Little Donkey. Little donkey, little donkey, on a dusty road. Got to keep on plugging onwards when your precious grow.
stories. I'm really enjoying listening to you. So we're going to continue the story. That night, Mary's baby was born. They wrapped the baby Jesus in warm clothes and laid him in a manger where hay had been put for the animals. On a hillside near Bethlehem, some shepherds were watching over their sheep through the night. Suddenly, there was a bright light and angels came to them. One angel said, don't be afraid. Jesus has been born and you will find him in a stable in Bethlehem. The shepherds were very happy at the good news and went to Bethlehem to find the stable. When they got there, they saw the baby Jesus lying in the manger. Joseph and Mary were watching over him. Far away in the east, a bright new star appeared in the sky. Three wise men saw the star and they knew that it was going to tell them the new baby king had been born. Night after night, they rode on their camels and followed the star until, until it finally stopped over the, over the stable where Jesus had been born. The three wise men went into the stable and saw their baby king. They gave him presents of gold, frankincense and myrrh before they left to go back to their own land. Such fantastic singing and listening. Well done, everybody. I'm so impressed. We're going to finish off this assembly with a prayer, okay? Hands together. Jesus, I love the story about you being born with the animals in the manger. I'm so glad that Mary and Joseph had you and that you laid under that big star for the world to know how much God loves you. I pray everybody on the whole earth can learn this story and remember that every Christmas is celebrated because of you. If I meet new friends someday who don't know this story, help me to tell them and show them how amazing it is. Your name, Amen. Well done everybody. What I'd like you to do is finish off with, we've got to finish off with a lovely song just to finish off and then I'd like everybody to say the grace in their classroom. I'm going to blow out the candle now and thank you very much for listening. Oh